So, um, Marcus, first of all, why no Daryl tonight? It's me to do it. Yeah, I done it last time when we lost, so I'm going to do it when we did it right. So. What do you make of that? What's the reaction in the, in the uh, dressing room? Positive. I thought it was a, a pretty good attacking performance. I want to share. I thought um, Hiram had a really good home debut. I thought he was um, one of the best home debuts I've seen for a while. Um, and we showed some great character, you know, to come from a goal down and then obviously to come from 2 1 down to draw the game. So, yeah, some real good positives out of it, really. I mean, we've got, we've got to make it count as a point today. I know that, I understand that. And sometimes at home it's a bit disappointing. But, you know, you get your, your, your three points, hopefully, um, against Warsaw on Tuesday, and then it's a good point. After the second Rochdale goal went in, I, I, I saw Daryl, the bench, rearrange. But at that point, what was going wrong from your point of view? We just felt was a, the game was a bit too open, a bit too end-to-end, -to -end, you know. Um, and although that, we don't mind that if we're chasing the game with 10, 15 minutes to go, but it was only 20 minutes gone or 25 minutes gone, so... We just felt like we needed to, to, to shore up a little bit um, and start to build into the game again. And luckily, um, we did, and, and we looked we looked an attacking threat. You know, so it's um, you know sometimes you have to change things things on the pitch. That's the way it is, and you can't stick to how it was. I think if we would have stayed how we were in the first twenty minutes, I think you could have seen a game that was five two five three. It was going that way. It was so end to end. It was almost like a practice match on the training ground. You know, when when no one wants to recover, no one wants to go forward. And it's almost uh, the, the games played in the, both final thirds. So, and that's how it was. Um, it was entertaining, I'm sure, for a neutral fan. But when, when you're a manager and coach on the side or an assistant manager, it's um, you know, it's heartbreak football. Mm. Um, there seemed to be from frustration, certainly from the fans. Um, how did the bench see the second Rochdale goal? That the, the whole place just seemed to stop. Yeah, I mean. I don't like to. I didn't react at the time myself, but I've seen it since, and it wasn't offside. It's one of them things you got to. Same old thing after. After um, you know you score a goal, you got to refocus yourself and, and build into the game again. And that was the case. I think a lot of people stopped. A lot of people moaned. I, I, I haven't seen the people on the pitch if that happened. If it was any of our players, but the, ca the the crowd and everything kind of went stopped for two or three seconds, and then it was it carried on, and they scored. A, you know, scored the goal, and it wasn't offside. So. Was it a foul at the far side? No, it wasn't because the referee didn't give it. Um, you've already mentioned the word character, but to, to come back twice shows some, doesn't it? For sure. Yeah, it's great. You know, we've got, we, you know we've got some great match winners in our side in terms of forward thinking players. So we always know the game. Um, there was going to be chances in the game. It's just it had that feel about it, especially like, like I said in the first 15, 20 minutes. Um, but as the game, even when we changed shape, the game still felt like it had goals in it. And we were hoping that you know we, we would get the next one, and we did. Um, that was the team talk at half time. It was important that we get the next goal, and we did. And you know, obviously with the substitution of Ellis, five minutes bringing Ellis on with five minutes after that, that was always going to happen anyway. We were hoping that with that extra bit of momentum, with the goal and a, a, a positive substitution, that we, we might be able to get the winner. That wasn't the case, but we still had our opportunities. Yeah. You're a goal, or you were a goal scorer. Um, what did you make of uh, Matty Taylor's second goal, especially? He's a great, he's, he, you know, he's priceless, isn't he? You know, he, the, the, the goal he got, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great goal. It's the technique, the, I, I like the movement before he got the goal. He gave himself half a yard just by put, just spinning off the shoulder of the centre half. Um, anticipation, so we didn't do it as the ball was kicked. He, was, he anticipated the ball to come there and to, to have the uh, athleticism to, to get himself in that situation, to get his leg up that high, to, to put the ball in the back and, and connect with it. Quite sweet. Um, um, it's a tough thing to do. And that's why he's he's got five goals now. So that's great. You played at the very highest level. You scored lots of goals at the highest level. How far can Matty Taylor go? He's at this club at the moment, doing very well with five goals. So um, every 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 year for him, especially in the last two or three years, has been an unknown in terms of where he can go. You know, so he's conferenced. And last year he he hasn't played in League Two before, and he's done really well. And this year. Um, is in League One, which is an unknown for him and us. A lot of these players at the moment, he's one of them, um, and he's doing okay. So it's a good start from him, from his point of view. So at the end of this season, you know, if he gets 15, 20 goals, it's it's a success. So you know, he's, he's five goals into a you know hopefully twenty goal hole um, for himself. But he's not just the only one who's scoring goals. You know, um, Jermaine Easter's got a couple as well, and so is Ellis Harrison. So I think between them, our, our three strikers, four strikers with Rory, um, 
you know, we've got nine goals, so that's not a bad start. Final question from me. Um, Daryl spoke earlier, before the game about this strange, kind of fragmented start to the season almost. Yeah. Did, did we see a bit of that today where it took the team a little bit of a while to get going? Um, I thought we got going quite well, if I'm honest with you. I don't think we, we, it took us a long time to get going. I thought we were into our stride a lot. I just think, you know, so were they, you know, in terms of going forward. So um, I thought we had a good first 10, 15 minutes until they got the goal. I know they had an opportunity after about 15 minutes when the, a far post header. But that was their only opportunity. But otherwise, I thought it was one-way traffic. We kept them in quite well. Um, we kept recycling the ball, uh, got up behind it. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't a bad start, if I'm honest with you. It wasn't a bad half. Um, it was just open. That's that's what I was saying. If you look, if you're going out there being defensive, then you know, then that's not a good half. But we want to be on the front foot at home, and it, and we were. Um, so we, they'd done exactly what we wanted, wanted them to do. We just we, we obviously came in at half time, um, a couple of goals down. Well, two two one. So so no, it's. I thought it was a good start, you know.